Jeff, let's jump right into um, the results of the survey, which shows that double-digit drop si Sara Duterte, and why is this significant? Well, it's significant. Um, we're seeing a decrease in uh, other top government officials. Uh, I, I think the, the friction between government of top among the top government officials is causing a decrease in trust and performance in these candidates. Oh, sorry, in, in, the, in the officials. So I think this is what we're seeing. We did ask them kung ano yung reason why they chose this uh, answer, pero this is what we're seeing. And uh, speculatively, uh, yun nga, it, it, it's, uh, we think it's based on the friction that's being generated. When you say friction, uh, Prof, friction between the two families? The two families, ganun ba yun? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Yes. Uh, Pero, uh, Prof, medyo major yung pagbaba ni Vice President Sara, no? Uh, 15% sa, kwan? Sa, tawag dito? No, Luzon, Visayas. Sa Luzon. Uh, sa, Sa balance Luzon, negative 11. At sa balance Visayas, negative 15. Tapos sa NCR, negative 3. No? Medyo significant yung pagbaba na yan. No? Hindi lang yan na uh, uh, incremental na pagbaba. Medyo, medyo major. Anong tingin nyo yung dahilan? Bakit ganun ka major, Prof? Well, uh, you're right. Uh, hindi siya incremental. Although sa Mindanao, uh, she still retains a lot of the uh, trust and performance. Mm. But in other areas, uh, I think uh, what I mentioned kanina suggests that the friction is causing this. And the um, support niya, um, in other areas like balance the uh, We know naman kung kaninong balwarte yung balance the sun, at least the northern part of uh, Luzon. Uh, and it's probably uh, affecting her numbers there. In the same way na vice versa naman, uh, yung trust and performance ng ibang government officials uh, bumababa naman sa Mindanao. So it's kind of becoming regional in a way. Pero Prof, yung Visayas, bailiwick ni Vice President dati yan eh. Yung Visayas, no? Lalo na, nagsesebuano siya, nag-iilonggo siya. No? Well, that's true. Uh... But um, yun nga, uh, I think uh, at some point, some of the ano, uh, yung mga respondents natin uh, are kind of choosing sides na rin, in a way. Uh, hindi naman necessarily choosing where they, where they belong, but more of um, parang it's affecting the, uh, the responses in terms of the trust and performance nila. Uh, dito sa ating uh, top government officials, particularly dito sa Pachumasa Vice President. Professor, yes, magaling ka sa projection ng trends, ano? You think this is irreversible? Kasi mukhang pababa ng pababayang ano nila eh. Pareho sila, and are they bringing down each other? Yang away nilang yan. You think it's irreversible na going into, siguro 2025 muna? Yes, Ami, and uh, uh, you're talking about projections. Uh, incidentally, yes. na naalala ko, tumatas yung COVID cases natin yet. So, yes. <laughs> of, uh, oh. that, but maybe we'll talk about that another time. Uh, we yes. don't have the numbers. Oh. But um, as far yeah. as, uh, you know, political preferences, um, yung projections are different eh, because the numbers mm. are actually reversible. Like when, you know, sabi natin, uh, let's give a scenario na nagkaroon ng nagkabati sila, you know, the friction is gone, mm. um, I mean, or, or just, you know, uh, there's more harmony between uh, top government officials. Unity. Then uh, mm. I think that will uh, 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 help their numbers get back to where they was before. Kasi when we started our service in 2022 after they won the election, they were still enjoying mga 80 to 90 percent yes. uh, trust and performance, and now it's down to the 60s. Mm. So uh, definitely, it's uh, it's hurting them. Um, I think continued friction will not help them. Uh, that's uh, that's what I see in terms of sub projections. I'm not saying that it will necessarily decrease, but um, it will mm. still go down. Uh, that's a possibility, but I don't think it's helping them. 
by having continued uh, back and forth and friction. I think the Filipinos just want to focus on the, the mm-hmm. matters that are uh, important to them, which are yung, you know, um, yung economy, uh, yung uh, prices and uh, other things. Yes, uh, in prices of basic goods. Uh, Pero sir, how, how do these numbers look uh, when you look at the historical data? Uh, of course, yes. Bokta is relatively new. Uh, uh, if I remember right, uh, in 2016, wala pa huwata kayo eh. And, uh, and the same in 2010. But uh, if you look at the historical data, how do these numbers compare uh, coming to the first one-third of uh, President and Vice President's term? Dagdag sa tanong ni Ed, uh, Prof, Paano, in most surveys nitong nakaraang dalawang taon, mas malaki usually ang pagbaba ni President Bongbong. Parang ito yung first time na nakita ko na mas malaki yung pagbaba ng Vice ni, President. ni Vice President Sara kesa kay Bongbong. Yes. Bakit? Usually kasi mas mataas ang presidente dahil siya yung, siya yung commander in chief. Eh. Lahat sa kanya sinisisi, di ba? Uh, inflation, mas mataas wages, etc. Mas, mas, mas mataas yung pagbaba ng presidente. But dito, for the first time, no? Un- unless uh, mali ako, for the first time, mas malaki yung binaba ng uh, Vice, Vice President. President. Sa lahat ng surveys, ha? hindi lang sa Okta. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we can't really, ano, um, I can't really speak for other survey yeah. results. So, mahirap mag-compare. Uh, but, um, I can say at least na the numbers of the President and Vice President are roughly comparable. Kasi hindi naman malaking difference nila eh. And mm-hmm. the margin of error is plus minus 3%. Yeah. So technically, you can think of it as being statistically yeah. tight naman sila. Uh, but we're looking at the, the difference, the, de- the decline in numbers. And um, uh, you're right. Uh, so far, we're seeing a, a, a bigger decrease. And I'm not sure you know, how we can explain that without asking that to respond it. But I think um, the, the friction is definitely uh, affecting uh, both candidates at uh, tinanong kanina ni Ed about how uh, you know it this compares historically I do remember na the former president uh, Duterte enjoyed very high trust mm-hmm. and performance numbers into his fifth year yeah. mm-hmm. so uh, normally um, the people give the uh, officials a chance to perform naman so you know first three years uh, mas mabait sila magbigay ng uh, numbers in terms of trust and performance, at least based on my recollection. Uh, I think uh, the grading now, kumbaga, if you think of it as grading, it's a bit more, uh, let's say, uh, less favorable, mm-hmm. um, possibly because of the mga challenges natin that we're seeing, you know, economic challenges, uh, other challenges, you know, um, international relationships, and this is affecting uh, our top government officials, and uh, that's uh, unfortunate. Okay, uh, Prof. Prof. Uh, did Okta look into the numbers or the performance or trust ratings of, uh, let's say, former President Duterte in this same survey period? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, can, can you repeat the, the question? Uh, I, I got part of it better. Did, yes. did, did Okta also look into the trust performance? Oh, I, I wonder what kind of survey was done on the on, on former President uh, Rodrigo Duterte during this same survey period. Because I'm wondering, kung sabay sabay din silang medyo tinatamaan dal dito sa away. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we yeah we don't uh, ask about the uh, um, PR uh, former PR uh, numbers right now. Uh, we usually. Uh, probe yung top government officials kasama dyan si Senate President. Unfortunately, uh, I heard na nagpalit na yung Senate President um, yesterday. So I think next time we'll have a different uh, person there. Uh, si uh, Senator Chief na yung isasama namin the next time. Um, normally, we don't uh, ask that. Uh, I will check if we have data on that, pero I haven't I haven't seen anything like that. Uh, maybe, or, or maybe I can talk about Maybe it. there's <laughs> something we can really... glean from a senatorial survey done within the same survey period. Pwede ba yun? I-compare or i-benchmark on that? Yeah, that's possible. Kasi when we ask yung senatorial preferences, uh, former President uh, Rodrigo Duterte used to enjoy higher senatorial preference numbers. 
So if we're going by that, decrease the young senatorial preference, yeah. So that could be one uh, okay. factor, uh, but um, it, not definitely conclusive about his popularity. Um, we did ask uh, a while ago, young, um, you know, who they are more allied with. I think 31% said they are allied with the uh, Marcos administration. 20% are mm -hmm. allied with uh, Duterte. So, so that's a question that uh, I don't know if we'll ask that again the uh, second quarter, thirty much. That's are still related to Rodrigo Duterte. At this point, uh, it's not part of your survey, but in your opinion, at this point, ano ang tingin yung impact niya on his daughter? Kasi nakikipag-away siya ngayon, marami, marami siyang ginagawa ngayon na medyo anti, well, well, definitely anti-Marcos. You think negative siya or positive ang effect niya sa, sa performance and the uh, approval ratings of his daughter? Um, without measuring that directly, uh, I, yes. I think uh, it may it may be negatively affecting his daughter's uh, numbers mm. because the fact that her numbers are decreasing, especially over the past I think two or three survey periods, the next thing mm. na yung tensions between uh, you know between the Marcos and the the third day. Yes, and uh, you know and, and people can see that, and uh, I, I think. Um, you know, I don't think that's helping her. I mean, to to, to say the least. Uh, Prof, do you think, you think it's a factor don sa pagbabanya? Kasi tuloy tuloy yung pagbabanya, eh. yung survey ratings ni Sara Duterte. You think may impact yon? Na ganyang nakikipagawa'y ngayon yung tatay niya and her brothers with the administration. Is that a factor in the yeah. slide? You think? Yeah, it's hard to say, but I think it's uh, possibly a factor. Ah, uh, Prof? Uh, yes, ito, yes. Pang, uh, pang, ilang, pang ilang survey nyo ba ito in the past two years na ganito yung framework? Pang ilan ito? Um, you mean na uh, nag-decrease yung ano nila? This is ano, um, we've yeah. been conducting quarterly surveys over the past two years. And... Uh, I remember uh, two or three surveys ago, they were still enjoying um, high trust and performance. That's a 70s. Pa. In fact, I, I think that's a last survey period, that's a 70s thing number. And now that's a 60s. Na. So, so there's a concern about their um, yeah, yung popular, well, uh, or the trust and performance. Um, it's possible, nga, sabi ng ni Abby, it, you know, it, yeah, I don't, I hope it's they don't go down to the 50 uh, for their sake. But um, we, it's difficult to make projections. Uh, but right now, all I can say is we will see. Uh, and the uh, question of how we've seen this before, um, I, I can't really um, say that this is the decrease. This is the first time we've seen a decrease into the 60s. That's related to my question Professor. Based sa your quarterly survey, Ito ba yung first time na mas malaki yung binaba ni Vice President kesa sa binababa ni President Bongbong? Based I think, sa inyo, uh, from my recollection, yes. From my recollection, I think it's the first time. So, um, I will double check that, but yeah. based on my recollection, I think it is. Uh, okay, Prof. Prof. David, uh, I wonder if Okta has any huh? new match-up surveys uh, like what uh, in, in ni Professor Ranjit Rai. Yeah. You, you did match up surveys before previously um, between Sara Duterte and Rafi Tulfo. I wonder if there's a new one yeah. that Okta has uh, undertaken. Uh, Martin. Yeah. Yeah, ba, I, I can't comment on that. Uh, yeah, I can't comment on that because <laughs> I go with the uh, release results. So um, normally. We have results that are released, may iba hindi na released. Right. So uh, I, I, I can't talk about results that have not been released, but maybe kung makausap niya si Prof. Ranjit, maybe he, he will be more willing to, be, to talk about that. Uh, siya na lang. Or kung ma-release na namin yan, then I can talk about it more oh, quickly. Si yeah. Prof. Ranjit Chata, lagi napapagalitan eh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I 
I'm sorry, sorry. Yung, yung matchup survey. They are done by uh, Okta and they are commissioned? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't comment on that as well yeah. if, uh, no, because we don't release that. Uh, I think si, yeah, si Prof. Ranjit will be the best one to <laughs> ask <laughs> about <laughs> si that. Kahit, kahit wag niyo na sabihin ano resulta, Prof. Uh, anyway, kayo abala dyan. I think you, I understand you crunch the numbers. So, meron bago. Meron mga bago matchup surveys pa. Um, I, I can't comment. Si Ranjit ka lang natin. Sige, okay. John, yes, producer yes. natin, uh, si Professor Ranjit Ray naman yeah. bukas yan. Uh, yes, yes, producer uh, niya si Prof. Ranjit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Pero yung salamat. Baka wala na mag-commission ulit. Of the Research Fellow, Dr. Guido David.